Coral reefs are in a state of crisis. Over 50% have disappeared in the last 30 years due to climate change, pollution, and destructive fishing practices. These reefs, which provide a home for 25% of marine life, are critical to the health of our oceans and our planet. Since 1950, we've lost over half the world's coral reefs in the last 70 years, and this loss is accelerating. We urgently need monitoring data to track where this is happening and why. At the forefront of the battle to save these underwater treasures is marine biologist Ben Williams. With a deep understanding of coral reef ecosystems and a passion for conservation, Ben is harnessing the power of artificial intelligence to revolutionize how we monitor and protect coral reefs. There is so much we can learn about the state of coral reef ecosystems by listening to them. The soundscape can tell us how healthy reefs are and which reefs are in decline. By capturing the sounds of marine life, Ben's team is able to distinguish between healthy and unhealthy coral reefs. AI technology helps analyze these sounds and track reef recovery in real time. I worked with Google DeepMind to develop SurfPerch, an AI model trained to listen to coral reef audio. SurfPerch can be rapidly fine-tuned into a detector for any new reef sound you throw at it using just a handful of example recordings. This allows us to analyze new datasets with far more efficiency than previous methods. Coral reefs provide shelter for a quarter of marine species and protect coastal areas from storms. But if we don't act, these ecosystems may disappear by the end of the century. They cover only a small extent of the ocean's floor at less than 0.1%, uh, but they host one third of marine biodiversity. So it's a huge amount. And there's over 375 million people around the world who are directly reliant on the ecosystem services that these habitats provide. Ben's research is already having an impact. In recent studies, the AI model successfully identified differences in reef health, helping conservationists take action faster. Using our approach, we found it still mostly sounded degraded, but we also had a couple of two-year-old mature reefs, and these sounded resoundingly healthy. So it was an instant demonstration of a way we can track the progress of an intervention like this much more efficiently than existing approaches. And so now we want to scale this up around the world. We've been sending recorders to Mars and Sheba projects uh, where they're restoring reefs in different parts of the tropics. Most sounds on coral reef habitats and in the ocean more broadly remain undiscovered. Anyone can help us start finding new sounds by listening to data we've shared on the Calling in Our Corals platform, hosted by Google Arts and Culture. Here you can find audio data from several coral reef restoration projects around the world. By listening to some of this audio for us, users will be helping to discover new sounds that we can then build detectors for using SurfBurge. This will help us track the progress of reef restoration efforts to so identify what's working and where.